hey guys welcome back to the channel today i'm going to be showing you how we did this install you know this is popping if y'all want to see how we did this install stay tuned <laughs> just kidding hey guys welcome back to my channel before we start this video i want to tell you that this wig is provided by a sister wig all the links will be in my description box you guys can check them out Right here, I'm just organizing everything that I'm going to be using in this video. I am going to be doing a glueless video on my mom today. So I'm going to have my glueless wig install linked up in the eye above just so you guys can see it in more detail if you want to. I'm going in with my two-sided Ruby Kisses foundation and I'm going to put that in the lace. If you guys want to see a video on how I tint my lace more in depth, I will have that video linked in the eye above. I'm going in with my Got To Be spray and I'm just spraying around her edges because my mom loves to sleep with no head scarf. So now her braids are all messed up. So we're gonna just sleek the front area back. And yeah, this is how you're gonna mold down the front area to make sure you have a successful, flawless install. So I'm going ahead and smoothing out the side area as well. I did cut my mom's hair off, so it's really short. I'm going in with the first wig cap this one is a little bit lighter but this is what i do i go in with the first wig cap it could be light it could be dark it could be black anything and then i'm going on top of it with a wig cap that matches her skin tone so a lot of people always ask me why am i wearing two wig caps when i'm doing my glueless installs and this is because when my hair is growing out my braids are getting a little bit more higher so when it's getting a little bit more higher it's gonna make my wig sit you know like a hat and we don't want that so i use two caps and that's just gonna smush the cornrows back down it does not hurt it does not feel tight it doesn't do none of that so right here i just made my mom put the wig on so we can see how it's fitting her head and it did fit perfectly this is a 13 by 6 wig so it was laying very very nice i just went ahead and i cut off her air tabs i'm gonna link a video on how i cut my air tabs off if you want to do it on yourself and it's a little bit more detailed so yeah i'm cutting off the air tabs right here and then I'm going to go ahead and make sure that it's laying nice on her head, which it did. I removed it and I cut the lace off of her head. I feel like that just helps to give it, it gives the lace a better jagged edge that I like. So I'm going to link that video as well of how I cut my lace off. And yeah, so I'm just parting out the baby hairs area just so I can have like an area to spray the holding spray and make sure that everything is looking natural so right here i'm just doing what i do for my glueless wigs then i'm going to go ahead and use the got to be spray to just spray down where we just parted that area right there so i'm going ahead and i'm going to blow dry that i'm just holding the lace down make sure that the lace is actually on your skin and not the hair because if it's on the hair the Holding spray is not going to hold onto anything because it's just sitting on the hair. It's not really securing itself. So I'm just going ahead and I'm using the hair as well to give me some tension. I'm tying her hair down with my Tropic Touches scarf. If you guys want to purchase a scarf, I will have the link down below for your disposal. <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to have the link in my description box. So right here, I'm going ahead and doing her side part because she really likes side part. And the good thing about this wig is it's a 13 by 6, so it gives you a lot of parting space. And I really love that. I'm a little bit disappointed because I didn't get, I did not put on my ring light so you guys can see the true color of the lace. But the lace matches perfectly. Because of my yellow lights in my room, it was giving it a little bit of tint. So it was making it look a little orange and that was pissing me off. But to be honest, this was a perfect, perfect install. I'm going in with some mousse. This is just a random mousse. I really don't like this mousse, so I'm not even going to mention the name because I don't even know the name. But I'm just using it to flatten out the top of your head. I do recommend this for anybody that don't have a hot comb. This is, you know, cheap and affordable instead of going out and having to buy a hot comb. You just put some mousse like that, and then you're going to part your hair. And you're going to put some mousse right in that parting area just to make it a little bit more flat. Then you could go in with a scarf and tie your hair down and then blow dry it. Or if you have a sit down dryer, you could also sit under the dryer as well. But if you have that extra money to spend, I do recommend getting a hot comb 100%, even if it's a small one. And that will make your wig sit super flat. Flat braids and hot comb, perfect combination. I'm going in with some mousse again just to tame the, these frizz because 
because we were doing this install and like doing a lot of stuff to the hair and moving the hair around it got a little bit frizzy so we're just taming it with some mousse and using the mousse makes it better because if it's water it's going to take longer to dry the mousse dries really really quickly even though it gets a little bit hard you just scrunch it in your hand and that will break up the cast i'm going ahead and using my eyebrow razor just to cut the baby hairs and i recommend this if you're doing baby hairs or if you're not doing baby hairs i'm also going to have that video linked if i don't have it linked tell me in the description box if you guys really want to see it but i have a video showing you how i do my wigs with no baby hairs and this is exactly the same method and you can see me do it at the top of her head because i did not put any baby hairs at the top of her head i just sprayed this got to be and i used the comb i was attempting to do some baby hairs with the got to be but it did not go as planned so I just went ahead and used that comb to comb the baby hairs back especially at the top area of the head because my mom doesn't really do baby hairs with her real hair like i feel like if you're grown and you want to be grown and sexy just do like a plain and simple swoop at the side and this gives you like an elegant look so this is what i went with i did not do any baby hairs at the top of her head because i felt like that was being a little bit too childish and my mom is grown like yeah so i just went back down and i tied the hair one more time and then blow it on medium air and then i ended the blow session on cool air just you know to set everything in place and this was basically it this was a very quick install i recommend this for anybody that's wanting to put their wig on for themselves and they don't want to use glue or none of that crazy stuff i feel like you should start off doing this method this is a very very good method so yeah i thank you guys so much for watching i will have af sisters links in my description box down below so you guys can check them out um thank you guys so much for your support i am going to be coming with some more content for fall and winter because if you've been following me for a while you know i started my channel and i used to be doing clothes so y'all know i'm gonna come with the looks okay so give me a thumbs up if you guys like that i included jacob in the video look how big he got guys if you followed me for a while you would know this is my little brother and he's being my mannequin